When we want to go to war with someone, we invent the reasons. We have first-hand descriptions of biological weapons factories on wheels and on rails. Ambition and hatred are enough to bring Iraq and Al-Qaeda together, enough so Al-Qaeda could learn how to build more sophisticated bombs and learn how to forge documents, and enough so that Al-Qaeda could turn to Iraq for help in acquiring expertise on weapons of mass destruction. When we made the decision to go into Iraq, many intelligence agencies around the world judged that Saddam possessed weapons of mass destruction. Mr. Bush, when are you going to apologize for the million Iraqis that are dead because you lied? You lied about weapons of mass destruction. You lied about connections to 9-11. You lied about Iraq being a threat. You sent me to Iraq. You sent me to Iraq in 2003. My friends are dead. Joshua Castile. You, you killed people. You lied. You lied. WMD, a million Iraqis are dead because you lied. My friends are dead because you lied. You need to apologize. I think the Americans knew that he didn't have these weapons. Certainly in the Pentagon, they knew and they didn't tell us. They didn't worry that, that he didn't have weapons. Mm. They were going to go for him anyway. They were into they, regime change. They wanted the regime to change. The cost of the war, well over a trillion dollars already, probably another trillion dollars in long-term costs, caring for, for those who borne the burden, recapitalizing uh, the Army, uh, the Air Force, the Marine Corps for, for the, the systems that have, have been worn down in this grinding decade of war. The military-industrial complex, that is the manufacturers of all kinds of weapons, uh, are very influential in the Congress and in the, and in, and in the uh, country as well. And uh, so we, we know that they make a lot of profit when we are involved in buying weapons. You know, for years and generations, wars have been fought over oil.